My little sister just got pregnant. I'm convinced my dad had something to do with it. I remember the nights where I would hear my sister moaning and crying in her room. I would try to get out and help her, but my dad would always put something in front of my door. But after I saw the offspring, I'm horrified to say the least. Ellen was a quiet girl, senior in high school, straight B's, didn't really go on dates, didn't even really talk to boys. She has friends, sure, but not many of the male variety. She told me while I was reading in my room, in her hands was clutching the positive pregnancy test. She was crying. I felt stunned. I didn't ask about the father. It didn't really cross my mind at the time. I just hugged her after the stun faded and told her we'd be okay. I went with her to tell our parents. Mom immediately burst into tears, sobbing and shaking her head. My father went quiet, face going a few shades paler. Then he spoke up. Why are you lying to us like this? Ellen started to cry again as she shook her head. I'm not I'm not lying. I'm shut up. My dad slapped the pregnancy test from her hand and stuck his finger in her face, his voice raising to a shout. I taught you better to lie to us. What is this, you trying to hide your grades from us? I didn't know how to react to that. Ellen just sobbed and ran back to her bedroom, slamming the door shut. My dad turned his rage on me next. Did you put her up to this? Do you think this is funny? I bolted next. I'd never seen my dad this angry, and I didn't want to bear the brunt of his anger. I figured when they'd calm down, they'd see reason and help Ellen cope with what was happening. They didn't. Ellen tried to bring it up the next morning with just mom around, but her lips pressed together firmly and she refused to answer. Ellen pleaded with her to see reason, but she just told us to pick up some things from the store on the way home from school and left the table. Ellen just buried her face in her hands. Past tears and just confused. I patted her on the back and told her I'd come up with a way out of this. That afternoon I googled abortion clinics near us, made a plan. I technically only had my driver's permit, but Ellen couldn't drive herself back after the procedure, so I figured what the heck, might as well try to get away with it. I shared with Ellen my plan and although she was hesitant, I convinced her this was the only way she could get out of this. When we attempted to go out for ice cream the next afternoon, Dad stopped us. I forgot to erase the browser history. He screamed at us, telling us we were both going too far with our little joke, and that we were grounded until Ellen confessed to lying. His face was bright red, a vein was popping out so far in his forehead I thought it was going to pop. Dad was always hot-tempered, but I'd never seen him like this. The moment Ellen opened her mouth to say something, Dad punched her in the jaw, actually punched her, and he's no small guy so he hits hard. Ellen hit the floor, I saw her spit a bloody tooth on the ground before she started sobbing. I dragged her by the arm as Dad screamed after us, how we weren't leaving this house for anything but school until we came clean. I helped clean up Ellen's mouth, wiping away the blood and managing to sneak down for some frozen peas to press against her jaw. She shook her head and looked at me. I, I am pregnant. You believe me, right? It didn't really matter if I believed her or not, because she was. Over the next few weeks, Ellen would be nearly knocked over with morning sickness. Morning sickness is giving it too much credit. She had days where she was slumped over the toilet, unable to keep much of anything down. If mom caught her, she'd just say Ellen had the flu. If dad caught her, he'd call out her prank and make her get dressed for school. It was heck, actual heck, and I could only stand by and watch. Ellen wasn't sent to the doctor for prenatal care. I did my best with school computers to research how to help, but the help of a 15-year-old isn't exactly much help. I wasn't a medical professional after all, and that's what she needed. As her belly swelled, Ellen became a joke of the school. Rumors spread about how she slept with one of the teachers to pass her class, or that she had no idea who the father was because she'd been fucked by anyone who would take her. To her credit, Ellen did never respond to these rumors. 